Hi, good evening. Uh, this video is in continuation of our class in the morning. And here we prove that in a finite dimensional norm to space capital X, any two norms are equivalent. In the morning session, we have studied when we can say two norms are equivalent. And now you consider a finite dimensional norm to space capital X. Finite dimensional norm to space means a finite set of factors forms a basis for capital X. So let X be a finite dimensional norm to space and B is equal to set E1, E2, E3, etc. EN be a basis for capital X. So suppose we have two norms. One is norm one and the other is norm two. We two norms defined on capital X. And we want to show that norm one and norm two are equal. So for this, consider any X belongs to capital X. Since this is a basis for the vector space capital X, Every element belongs to capital X can be expressed as a unique linear combination of E1, E2, E3, etc. EN. So for this X belongs to capital X, there exist unique scalars alpha 1, alpha 2, etc. alpha n such that this X is equal to alpha 1, E1 plus alpha 2, E2 plus etc. plus alpha n, EN. Now norm 1 of X that is equal to norm 1 of alpha 1 e1 plus etc plus alpha n en norm 1. And by a theorem, if e1, e2, e3, etc, en are linearly independent in a normed space, then for any such linear combination alpha 1 e1 plus etc plus alpha n en, we have norm of alpha 1 e1 plus etc plus alpha n en is greater than or equal to a constant c1 into mod alpha 1 plus etc plus mod alpha n. This is by a theorem. So by that theorem, we have norm x1 is equal to norm alpha 1 even plus etc plus alpha n en, and that is greater than or equal to c1 into mod alpha 1 plus etc plus mod alpha n. On the other hand, norm x with respect to the second norm, this is equal to norm alpha 1 e1 plus etc plus alpha n en with respect to the second norm. Then we apply the triangle inequality for the norm. So this is less than or equal to mod alpha 1 norm e1. See all these, all these norm are with respect to norm 2 plus mod alpha 2 norm e2 with respect to 2 plus etc plus mod alpha n norm en with respect to 2. See e1, e2, e3, etc, en are n fixed elements of capital X. And we can find the norm of these e1, e2, e3, etc, en with respect to norm 2. So let k be the maximum of these norms. e1, e2, e3, etc, the norms of e1, e2, e3, etc, en with respect to norm 2 is calculated and let k be the maximum. Therefore, this less than or equal to, so that is less than or equal to k into mod alpha 1 plus mod alpha 2 plus etc plus mod alpha n. Now we have this equation. So we call this as 1. So from 1 we have this quantity mod alpha 1 plus etc plus mod alpha n is less than or equal to norm 1 of x divided by c1. So for, from 1, we have mod alpha 1 plus mod alpha 2 plus etc plus mod alpha n is less than or equal to norm 1 of x by c1. So you can call it as uh, 1, 2, 3. And if you call this as 2, uh, the, the next one. So you call this as 2. From 2, 
we have norm x 2 by k is less than or equal to mod alpha 1 plus mod alpha 2 plus etc plus mod alpha n. So call this as 4. Now we use this 3 and 4. So from 3 and 4, we get norm x 2 by k is less than or equal to this quantity. This is less than or equal to norm x with respect to 1 by c1. Therefore, norm x2 is less than or equal to k by c1 norm x1. So if we call this as say something like a or b, a, we get norm x2 is less than or equal to a norm x1. Norm x with respect to the first norm. See, we apply the same argument by interchanging norm 1 and norm 2. After some time, we get norm x1 is less than or equal to some b norm x2. And these two inequalities are sufficient to say that norm 1 and norm 2 are equivalent. So the norms in the finite dimensional vector space capital X are equivalent. And we have the theorem that in a finite dimensional normed space capital X, any two norms are equivalent. And okay, this is for now. Thank you.